Hey y'all, Joe Dragon here. Uh, as you can see, I am in repopulation. And I was trying to figure out the best way to proceed with this game. It's a sandbox uh, open world MMO, so... You know, there's no real path. So I figure the best way is to simply, uh, you know, explore. And see what the game has to offer. So... I figured I'd start with uh, Freedom Town, which is one of the starting areas uh, that you go to after the uh, newbie hub. So let's go ahead and take a look around. Alright, so let's see. Check out the map here. Uh, basically you start in the medical center area. And we'll go take a look at that real quick. Now, when I first entered this town, uh, I was a little bit overwhelmed because I started getting job offers constantly, uh, and the way the game gives it to you is by basically giving you mail, and you can choose to accept it or decline it, and as you walk around and as you do different things, um, these will pop up, but they keep popping up. Uh, I don't know if they actually end or if they're randomly generated. Uh, you know, endlessly. But you really don't have to do that. If you are, you know, used to other MMOs where uh, you pick up all the quests available uh, from hub to hub and move along, that's not how this game works. Um, basically, you can get credits and uh, some experience, some abilities from doing these, but they aren't necessary. You can just immediately leave town and do whatever you want because basically everything you do even uh, rolling like that will give you experience and your skill will go up so and that's the whole point of the game is to level your skills whatever way you want and uh, you know as simple as that it's a little bit well it's a lot different than most MMOs so all right anyways all right so, let's see, let's go to City Hall here. Oh, another thing I noticed was, uh, as you can see right here, there's like a, something called Chromite Shortage. Now there are events that seem to happen, and uh, you can take part in, part in them if you want. Um, I was playing for a few hours around this area, and nobody seemed to be doing this. There's not really that many people here. I think they've all moved on to other areas, and uh, let's see, so I didn't really have a chance to complete that, but um, I noticed that different parts of the city would uh, catch on fire, and you can actually get fire extinguishers from the inside of buildings, uh, sometimes they're on the wall, and you can actually use those to, uh, you know, put out the fires, and that's how you can contribute, and I believe there are mobs that spawn occasionally or as part of the event. Another thing I wanted to show you real quick. You can actually go in and steal uh, from the different shops. Uh, of course, doing so gives you a negative rep and you can eventually get kicked out of your faction. So that's a pretty cool addition. Alright. So as you can see, these buildings are kind of plain. Um, they'll probably be changing that, and there's actually an update coming pretty soon, uh, this next week, so I'm hoping that, uh, there's some changes to this city. Alright. And basically, they're just NPCs, let's see, defense rep, uh, now there are, get, these are camps, um, which I guess spawn randomly. They're just basically like random events and, you know, basically can farm them and from what I understand from chat and everything, so. Let's see. Now if there is a run key, uh, I haven't found it yet. 
to go any faster other than rolling. All right. Let's see. Oh. So yeah, you have all these different buildings, different NPCs, and honestly, one of the biggest things I wanted to show off in this about this town is the uh, cantina over here. Let's see. Five credit drinks. Oh yeah. Now this is what really got me uh, interested because this is like so much similar, uh, or so similar to Star Wars Galaxies, and the first place I always would go in pretty much any city was the cantina because that's where all the players typically were. There you go. Oh, and there you go. Someone dancing, um, giving buffs. It looks like. Oh, yeah, Master Entertainer. <laughs> Look at that. I can get that chat bubble out of here. Yeah, this is an annoying bug. But, stacked effects. And you can just uh, get inspired and get these different buffs that uh, stack. Let's see. 44 minutes. So, some of them last quite some time. Pretty cool, just by basically being in here, being around. I don't know if that was a bot or if she's actually, uh, you know, at the keyboard doing this. But yeah. Maybe I better, uh... Oh. Now, I don't know how, uh, the emotes work, but we'll guess here. There we go. All right, cool. Let's take a look around. The one thing I don't like um, when they're doing the storytelling, it spams chat. So that would be nice if you could filter that out. If there is, I haven't figured it out yet. Some multiple stories here. But yeah, I really hope that... Uh, once this game is live, that these places are just, like, filled with people. Alright. NPCs. Yeah, it's it's sometimes hard to tell what an NPC is and what's a player, but if you mouse over them, it'll actually just say Human Adventure in their description. I like how everything you do just gives you stats. Alright. Entertainer ran off. Okay. Alright, let's take a look around. Now they are planning on changing up the UI a bit. I've seen some screenshots and it looks really good. Uh, so. Let's go. Workshop next. All right. Let's see what's in here. An adventure. Okay, so you can get your harvesting stuff here. You looking to buy? Ooh, I'm gonna have to check out the fishing. All right. Oh, harvesters. Yeah, I don't have much. Uh, or many credits yet, so I'm gonna have to come back for some of this stuff. Yeah, I was out exploring, and I didn't have any of these tools to actually do any, you know, gathering. So let's see. So this is. Grab a mining drill. So that's for wood. Anyways, we'll check that out later. Okay. So 
So from my experience so far, we have a pretty uh, friendly community so far. Oh, bit of lag there. Okay. Some basic patterns. Looks like this is the furniture. Oh yeah, cool. So woodworking makes furniture. Or furniture. <laughs> Let's see here. Lost and found next. Alright. We got vehicles here. Now, I actually uh, pretty much found out that you can get these same exact uh, vehicles, probably even be better versions of them, from the auction house. And they're a lot cheaper than this. Like, I saw hypercycles for about 4,000 credits. Uh, so, I really probably wouldn't buy anything from here if you're starting out the game because it's a uh, bit overpriced compared to what players can craft. Now whether or not that will change in the main game it's hard to say once it uh, goes live. What we got here? It's done found. So what's this about? Okay, so yeah, as you um, are out in the field, basically, you can collect some high quality items uh, as you're harvesting, as you're fighting, uh, killing, and doing whatever. You can loot items that you can then turn into these, uh, which are basically repeatable quests, and you can get, you know, XP and stuff from that. Um, I haven't really looted much. There was one for... Uh, some DNA for a particular thing, and I looted a bunch of DNA, but it didn't accept any of it, so I'm assuming it needs to be like a high quality version of it or something. Alright. A lot more players around than the last time I played. Right. Okay. Ooh, armor die kit. Guitar? Wait, what? You can play music? Give. Alright, let's see if this works. Interactive music mode. Drag this in from on your bar and click it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. How does this work? You can then click it again when you wish to disable music mode while the music mode on your action keys or buttons can be used. Oh. That's interesting. I don't know if you can hear it, but um, I'm just pressing one, two, three, four, five. Wow. So it actually works like uh, you actually have to play it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that, see how that works exactly, if there's a way you can autoplay or something. <laughs> but that's really cool. Anyways, alright. Mm-hmm. Ooh. 
experience warriors. Oh, fast cycle. I see this. Come back. Aw. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grind some credits and uh, see if I can get a mount because uh, just walking out here this, from here to here basically took me about 10 minutes just walking um, non-stop not fighting anything so and apparently I can't tell where the map ends because it seemed to expand a little bit as I went out like a fog of war um, but the map is kind of hard to read uh, so I'm hoping that they do some sort of uh, map UI update. Hopefully that's coming this week, so... Alright. Okay, I'm gonna head over to the transit center and show you that. Actually, before that, I'm gonna check this out. I love that there are billboards and, you know, nice signs. That stuff that kills. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. Oh, there are little uh, posters too. Oh, cool. That's something I forgot about from SWG. You could, uh, there's all these different posters you can put in uh, your house and stuff. I haven't figured out how the housing system works, but I d I'm sure I don't have enough credits yet to do anything about it. That's something I really look forward to. Okay. Let's check this out. Same one. Alright. Sorry, I'm really exploring this as much as you are, so uh, this is all pretty new. Um, let's see. Honestly, just taking in the sights of the game is a pretty uh, fun experience so far. Oh, wrong way. Okay. Go ahead, skip it. Ah! That's another thing. Um, if you're pressing forward, when you uh, exit map mode, what is it? Something does it, yeah. Or right clicking, because uh, I use right click to, uh, you know, look around. But if you're holding on to that when you exit map mode, it jolts your screen um, like really bad. Here, yeah. Now, the transit area. Oh, what was. Is it just turned daytime? <laughs> nice, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Housing travel agent. your private housing if you're interested. Tell me more about housing. Okay, this is for instance housing. Okay. That way, if I guess if it runs out of space, um, at least you can always have your instance housed. So, uh, if you click on the housing window button in your menu, let's see, housing, housing, housing. on the plots tab okay oh not bad let's check that out uh, once you have purchased one I can take you there okay cool 
so I guess you can only get a small one. Alright, we'll check that out later. Alright, now, uh, what is this, Sep Falls? Um, from what I understand, this is the PvP area. Uh, it's all contested, so you will f uh, be able to fight other players there. And, let's see. Definitely looking to uh, explore that, but I am not equipped for that yet. Now, I'm not sure if this whole area, like, ends at some point or just keeps going. Um, I need to take a look at the world map and see if there's any, you know, easier way to uh, get around. Let's see. So far, all I've found are little uh, hubs. Um, let's see. There's one. Okay, I can't drag the map. Yeah. Anyway, it's up here somewhere. Um, and then basically it's just a bunch of different enemies around here, different camps and uh, static little camps. So. Alright. So the last place to check out is all labs. <clears throat> so this mm-hmm coin collector rare coins huh haven't come across anything like that yet. <laughs> that was from the NPC. Okay, so it won't let me in there. Alright, well I guess that's it for uh, Freedom Town. That's okay because what we really want to explore is basically everything else out there. Um, let's see. Alright, I think I'm going to end this video here. Uh, and with the next video, I'm probably going to either make a housing plot and go there or uh, Just strike out on you know explore out here See what the world has to offer. I want to look um, And find out if this is just like a starting zone or something and At what point I should leave it so I definitely want to see what the, um, the different player cities are and I'm not sure where they are. They may be in the contested zone. That's what it seems to be. Um, and this seems, is kind of like a safe zone. So, uh, alright. Yeah. Alright. Until next video, I'll see you later. Or there. <laughs> alright, see you guys.